So a common issue I've been finding in the clinic recently is a lot of my clients are toe gripping, which is where the four little toes start to curl at the end to try to grip the ground. I see this with their exercises, while they're walking, and then even just while standing, and it's their body's way of trying to get some stability in their foot and the rest of their body. But what that means too is that we're not getting activation of a very important muscle that lies on the bottom of our foot called our flexor digitorum brevis. It attaches at our heel and goes all the way to the toes. So today I wanna give you an exercise to um, just try to get that muscle activated. This is very important for people with hammer toes, this toe gripping tendency, and even those with plantar fasciitis. So you're gonna use your fingers to try to keep your toes nice and straight. And then all you're gonna do is think about trying to press your toes down into your hand while maintaining the length in your toe. So without them starting to grip at the end. So nice and slow, you don't have to give much resistance for this muscle. Um, you want to really think about trying to push from the, basically where the toe meets the foot is what I usually tell my clients to focus on pressing through the floor. And if you start to see your toes curling, that's a no-no. Or if you start to see the ends of the toes turning white, that usually means that you're also using, um, it's called the flexor digitorum longus to help with this um, activation and we do not want that. So I always like to start with my hands. It just helps to keep those toes straight. But once you feel like you have the hang of that, you could move to using a very light resistance band um, and go into a standing position and really try to flex those toes down but without those toes curling.